Hey everyone, Luke Shelton down here in Dillon, where this Saturday, Montana Western and Montana Tech are set to renew their rivalry. Now this is a game that I look forward to every year because I know it's going to be a battle between two great teams, and that's once again the case as the Bulldogs and Ordiggers get set for a top 15 showdown. Over the years, the fierce battles between Ordiggers and Bulldogs have produced plenty of highlight reel footage. And another big time clash is on deck as 7th ranked Western hosts number 12 Tech in a collision between one lost teams. The Bulldogs have won four of the past five meetings, but in the frontier, nothing is guaranteed. Hi Luke. It's incredible. In the last several years and the games we've been playing against uh, Montana Tech and to be playing meaningful football in, in the Frontier Conference, you know, it's just awesome for the state, it's awesome for our universities and, and the conference. Western will be home for the first time in a month and coming off a bye, while the Ordiggers toppled 7th ranked Southern Oregon at home last Saturday. It was Tech's second top 10 victory this season, but the Ordiggers' sole focus this week is the challenge that awaits them in Dillon. One, two, three, go! And I think that's the, the challenge every week is being able to reset, start from ground zero, and keep getting better every week in practice. And knowing that uh, even though we had a big win, it doesn't mean nothing this week, right? It's a whole different team. That's what's fun about college football is you get you know one game per week and you gotta be ready for it. Expect the Yordiggers to keep feeding Lander Smith, just one of three running backs in the frontier averaging over 100 yards per game. It's fun uh, playing bully ball, just getting a ground and pound game and uh, being physical, you know, that's what, uh, that's what we pride ourselves here uh, as a whole team is just being the most physical team and we like that physicality. As for Western, look to the Bulldogs to continue their air raid attack with quarterback Michael Palandri's 367 passing yards per game ranking second in the nation and receivers Eli Norris and Dylan Shipley both piling up over 100 yards per game. It's been really fun, you know, we have so many explosive pieces, you know, all over the offense. We could really throw it to five different guys all game long, so it's really special to watch us go. I think we could do a lot more. And the Bulldogs and Ordiggers kick off right here on Saturday at 1 p.m., and I'm already looking forward to it. In Dillon, Luke Shelton, MTN Sports.